What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we've got Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. This is a new beauty product. It's another celebrity beauty brand that a lot of people are talking about right now. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be doing a full review of all the new products that just came out from Rare Beauty. We've got this little handy book that kind of talks about what the brand is about. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. If you have not done so already, make sure you are subscribed, join the Mimitain family, and give this video a thumbs up. So this brand is exclusively sold at Sephora. I think it's a Kendo brand, just like kind of how Fenty Beauty is and um, KVD Vegan Beauty is, Ula Henriksen. That's not it, but those are the only ones that I can remember off the top of my head. Pretty much from what I read, that brand has like a rare fund or a rare impact fund where 1% of their annual rare beauty sales will go directly to the Rare Impact Fund, which I thought was really good. It's supposed to reduce the stigma around mental health, which is something that I'm a very big proponent of. I think when we all first saw that Selena Gomez was coming out with a beauty brand, we were all very kind of like, it just didn't click, it didn't connect, because she's very known for a less is more kind of approach on her makeup, I think. We're gonna start with the foundations. I'm gonna read what they say really fast. Okay, actually no. I lied, we're gonna backtrack. We're gonna start with the primer. $26, it's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lip from within glow. This is what it looks like right here. Not gonna lie, it does kind of give me Fenty Beauty vibes. Not identical, it's like sister brands. It's a sister brand. It's, sis it's a sister brand to Fenty Beauty and that's why it gives me that vibe. It's not the exact same. They're not twins, they're sisters, cousins, whatever it is. You can kind of see the family resemblance there. That's what I get from it. I'm not surprised because like I said, it is a Sephora brand, just like Fenty Beauty is. But this is what the bottle looks like for the primer. It's washed out because of my lights, but it is a soft pink bottle. It's also soft touch as well, so it's kind of like a little bit matte. I think it's plastic. Yep, plastic. So it does look like it's gonna be a little bit reflective. Sometimes reflection, if it's not the right pearl color, it can look a little crazy on my skin, like a little ashy, we'll see. That's what I was afraid of. This is not the reflection color I would use on my skin tone whatsoever because I instantly just kind of went silver. A little bit ashy, a little bit like gray. It's not my favorite. We'll put foundation on and hopefully that'll go away. It's not terrible. I've seen worse, but you guys saw the difference how I just went more silver in my face right now versus how I looked earlier. Um, yeah. So I probably won't use this primer again just because I don't like the way that that looks specifically. Next, I'm gonna go into a liquid luminizer. The Positive Light Liquid Luminizers are $22. They're a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lip from within glow and it comes in eight shades. So I have four shades right here. These are what they look like right here. I have them in the shade Captivate, Flaunt, and Transcend. So I only have three shades actually. I got two of the Captivate shades. I think I'm gonna use Captivate, this shade right here. It's a little bit bronzy. These other two might be a little bit on the ashier side um, on my skin tone. These two right here, this one's kind of like a rose gold, and then this one's kind of like a champagne color. Flaunt is like a champagne color, and Transcend is kind of like a rose gold color. I just wanna play it on the safe side. So I've got those three shades right here. Flaunt, rose gold color. Then this one is that champagne color is Transcend. Really orangey one right there is um, Captivate. Okay, so I blended those out right there. I think I am gonna go ahead and use Captivate underneath my foundation. And use that to highlight underneath because I am not a fan of liquid highlighter on top of my foundation. I just, it's not my jam. I like it underneath foundation better than on top of foundation. It's blending out nicely. A little bit on the nose. All right, so that is the highlight. It actually does not look that bad. For under highlight, that was like really red and a little bit more bronzy than I like to go. It doesn't look that bad. So now I'm gonna go into foundation. I have three different foundation shades here. So the foundation, I think it says comes in 48 colors. I expected nothing less than what we got here. The foundation is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation for $29. It comes in 48 shades and it says it's a foundation elixir that feels barely there, building coverage and boosting your natural glow. This is the packaging for it. Looks like that. 
it is like a paddle wand situation i don't mind i actually like that i don't mind that at all so i'm gonna swatch the three shades that i got i got 570 neutral 560 warm 570 neutral which is that shade let me try to match them on my neck okay so i'm gonna put it closer to here so that's 570 that doesn't seem like a terrible match to my neck and then we've got 560 warm it's definitely warmy 550 cool this one just like literally spilled out let me show you guys like that so i think maybe give it a good shake let me shake this one the other one's gonna do that so this one is 5 30 or 5 yeah whatever did i say 5 30 this is so messy the rest of them aren't like that so i'm assuming this one's just like defective but it's like getting everywhere um 550c okay i'm gonna put you down because my hands are nasty now obviously i'm most likely gonna go with the darkest shade <laughs> um which is 570 neutral i could probably get away with 560 warm if I wanted to match closer to my chest. I'm gonna try and match to my face today. We've also got a foundation brush here, so I'm gonna use that as well today. $28, and the sponge is $14. bad finish Ooh, it actually looks really good oh, it's definitely not a bad finish for me because i do have more of that dry skin i can see this formula though being a slight problem for people with oily skin just a little bit you guys saw all that like not oil i don't know how to explain it Ugh. i don't know how to explain it my skin looks really good it looks very luminous very dewy very glowy that's what i'm trying to say right now i'm not mad at this finish. I did not think I was gonna get this much coverage out of it at first when I started blending it out. It feels very lightweight. So I'm gonna take their sponge. I usually, after a serum foundation like this, I like to just run through it and make sure everything is seamless and blended. I'm not quite sure how crazy I am about the sponge. Okay, it's not lifting too much of my foundation. That's good. So now we're gonna go into concealer. The concealer is called the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. It's the moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable, cake-free coverage, and it's also available in 48 shades. Four shades here. That's what the concealer packaging looks like. These four shades right here, they're, the top one is 570N, the one after that is 560 Warm, and then the next one after that is 550C, and then 520 War. I'm probably gonna go in with 570 neutral first. The concealer is definitely thicker than um, the foundation, so that's good. I mean, that's kind of what you expect from concealer. Anyways, it really feels really nice and smooth underneath the eyes. I'll probably use another concealer shade to go ahead and highlight as well. I'm gonna contour with Fenty Beauty Caviar. For the under eyes, I'm gonna give this sponge a try, but I already have a backup just in case because I'm very picky about my sponges and this one has a lot of angles and a lot of sharp lines that I'm not sure are gonna be my favorites. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Am I gonna all of a sudden stop using my beauty blender? Probably not, but it's not terrible. It kind of reminds me of a, almost like a mix between a beauty blender and then one of those like sponges, those like wedge sponges. Easy to blend, doesn't dry down too fast. Not a matte concealer. Just wanna brighten a bit. I feel like this color might be too red underneath my eyes. I don't know why that concealer looks so red, but I'm gonna not use that. This one might not brighten as much as I want it to, so I guess I'm stuck with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And I'll just use a little bit of that, and that is the shade 520W. There is a concealer brush. I'm just not crazy obsessed with using a concealer brush underneath my eyes. I don't mind, I feel like a sponge does perfectly fine, but it's there, so we'll use it. But the blend on this concealer is pretty, pretty phenomenal. It's really pretty. 
super easy to blend. So now we've got those out of the way. We've got foundation, we did concealer, we've got liquid highlighter underneath the foundation. I think all we have left is lip and brow products. I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. This is the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun Powder. Just to add a touch of brightness, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey underneath my eyes. Set my contour, I'm gonna go into the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Deep Dork, which is this shade right here. Just gonna lightly set. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder in the shade Deep Bronze, and I'm gonna use that just to set in between my contour and my bronzer. My contour and my highlight, I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down with the Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. So we've got a brow pencil here. I just don't feel like this is gonna work for me. I'm like swatching it on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. I don't think it's gonna work for me. If not, then I'll just do my brows off camera. Yeah, that's enough. Just did my brows off camera, did a little hair action. So we've got lip products, we've got some blush and a pen, an eye pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the eye pencil or eyeliner, eyeliner, Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. This is what it looks like right here. It's actually like a pencil, so I actually think it's kind of cute. Like you literally open it up and it's like, I thought that was really cute, but maybe I'm just being nerdy. The eyeliner is $19. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. Of course, look at that crooked wing already. Haven't done a wing in ages. Not bad. We'll take it. Okay, so let's talk about blush. So we've got the blushes here. The blushes go for, it's called the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush for $20. It says it's a long lasting blush that blends beautifully for soft for a soft, healthy flush and it's available in eight shades. I have four shades here. This is the blush component. Really pink one is Lucky, Grateful, Love, Faith. So I think I'm gonna go pinky. I'm really kind of feeling lucky. So this is, whoa, that's actually really pigmented. Let me just swatch the rest of these. They're actually pretty, quite pigmented, so we'll see. I'm gonna use a brush to apply them. Calm down. I think I went too, I went too close into my cheek. I mean, it's pigmented, so you can see it. I just don't know if I went, I put too much. Let's take it off where I don't want it and start where I do want it. I mean, that's really pretty. And it didn't look like it lifted any of my foundation, which is good. This is still that lucky shade. I didn't mix it with the red one. I do think you have to work with it a little bit. Usually that's what I'm afraid of with cream products um, on top of already set skin is the lifting. But from what I can tell so far, it's not doing that. So I'm happy about that. It is a lot of blush though. I'm gonna take a little bit on the nose because why not? The more I pat it in, the less I feel the need to set it. Cause at first I felt like I needed to set it with a powder brush or a powder blush. We'll leave it like that. Yeah, we don't have any harsh lines. And I think we'll leave it like that. Let me pop on my lashes. Lashes are on, hair's done. There's so many of these lip products, so I'm just gonna give them a quick swatch on the back of my hand along with the lip balms. I'll swatch right here. The first bunch on my hand, closest to my fingers right here. Lip Souffle Matte Lip, it's a cream, and it's $20, a velvet finish, and it comes in 12 shades. I just have those shades right there. And then the bunch on the bottom is the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm for $16, a hydrating, Plus free balm that has a hint of kissed color and soft shine available in eight shades. And I have those four shades. I think I'm gonna do the souffle lip matte. But we've got this brown shade right here and I think I'm gonna mix two of them together. So let's see. I hate that there's always like a tint of red 
to brown nude colors. A little bit more red than I would like. Feels very powdery, but not in a bad way. It feels like light and fluffy powdery. I'm gonna go in with the shade Heroic in the center of my lips. This looks really pretty. Feels very pillowy and soft. Like, doesn't feel glossy. Oh, do they stain? I don't think so. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and try and wear this foundation for as long as I can. What time is it? I finished like at least two hours ago. I think I finished at six and it's 8.12. So I've already been wearing everything or the base routine for two hours now. So I will see you guys when I come back at the end of the night. Surprisingly how late it is right now, I don't look as tired as I thought I would look. But don't forget we are in quarantine days and I have not stepped outside today. 1.45 a.m. I'm already past my do not disturb. Well, you guys remember when I freaked out about that light right there? <laughs> so this is what the foundation looks like. This is what everything looks like. Blush is still actually showing very much so on my face. Blush is usually the first thing that disappears on your face. I didn't really go anywhere. Maybe I'll give this like an actual outside wear test one of these days, but we're in quarantine, where are we going? I mean, we're not in quarantine, but where am I going? Where am I going, okay? I would definitely try the foundation again because I think it just, the finish was really nice. The concealer, I'm definitely gonna try again. I think if I had a choice, I'd rather try the concealer more because I really like the color of the concealer, like the shade of the concealer. The blush was nice, definitely less is more with the blush. I went very heavy, you guys saw how heavy I went with the blush. Um, I guess now since we're here, let's try a dewy balm gloss in the shade. Let's try Thankful, just because we're here. Ooh, it feels kind of nice though. It still kind of has that pillowy feeling to it, but it has a little bit more sheen to it. So that's pretty much it. The only thing that I didn't try earlier was the setting spray. If you guys can tell, there is quite a bit of oil in that setting spray. I just felt like the foundation was really like radiant and then also the concealer was radiant. I've had setting sprays that come off very, very, very dewy, very glowy, very greasy in a little bit of a sense. So I'm gonna try it now and see what that looks like. I had a feeling. You guys can tell my feeling was absolutely correct. Definitely makes you dewy. So if you are an oily skin girl, you might wanna pull up on this one just a little bit. All in all, I do think that the products are really good. I do think that there's uniqueness in the products. I really don't mind the products. That's pretty much it for our video today. I am a greasy looking mess right now, but that's because of the setting spray. So like I said, keep that in mind. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and join the new Tang family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time. See that top, that top layer right there? That's oil. And I was just like, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I'm not gonna play myself like that. I know what that is. I know what that is. <laughs>